Hi, my name is Charlie Yap from the La Jolla office and welcome to my home office. Today we'll be talking about component management. You know, a lot of people will ask me what is component management. Component management is like a collection of things. For example, I'm a huge collector of board games, coffee mugs, and different type of toys. Component management is a collection of components in a library. So imagine if you're trying to move this library or migrate this library from one environment to another environment. This is one of the few challenges a lot of companies and a lot of users are really afraid of. How hard is it to migrate from Alpine Designer to Concord Pro? All right, so we have our sample project, which is the Xilinx Spartan 2E. And what we're going to do is run this schematic library with the library migrator where the library migrator will begin analyzing the contents of this library. The migrator will automatically assign every component to its respective component type. However, if the components is unrecognizable, it will get dumped into this uncategorized component type. The user can now review each of this component and manually assign the components where they think belongs to, for example, the resistor. And every time they assign this component type, the list gets smaller because it, the component is now moved to its correct respective folder. Once the list has gone down to zero, the user can release the components with confidence and each component gets released to its respective folder. Another cool feature with our library migrator will be the parameter mapping. Depending on which component type the user is trying to release, they can remap the parameters. So for example, if they wish the component name to be based on the manufacturing part number, the user can just use the parameter drop-down menu here and assign the correct parameter. Also, the part choice mapping here is one of their powerful tool where if the user can provide the manufacturer and the manufacturer part number, the library migrator can automatically assign those supplier links to the component. Last but not the least will be the detection of duplicate components. So if there is a unique field, for example, a manufacturer part number already exists in the server and you're trying to release the same exact manufacturing part number, the duplicate detection will kick in and inform the user of such thing. Okay. Now, finally, we should be able to click the migrate button. So if there's any component that cannot find the footprint, this is the perfect chance for the librarian or the user to review each component and fix if any component needs to be readdressed with the correct footprint. Again, this is Charlie Yap from the La Jolla office. Detective the 